G'day guys, Greg here. Well, today I've got a special guest, Scooter Fox. How's it going, mate? Good, mate. Good, good. Yeah, you might remember from him from such videos as, well... Uh, live the, Bar Friday Night. Well, there was that one, but, uh, well, today's one, which is, we're going to go and try the new Domino's Pizza Pockets. Oh, yeah. They've, apparently, they've got two new pizza pockets out. They've got a pepperoni and cheese and a ham and cheese. So, we're going to go in and grab one and suss them out. Let's get Can't it. Can't wait. Let's go. Alrighty. Well, here we go. The Pizza Pockets. Now, these only cost $2.95 each, which to me sounds extremely it's a bargain, inexpensive. Mate. Yeah, bargain. Yeah, but we haven't seen them yet. So, now, we got one of each, a pepperoni and a ham and cheese. Now, I really want to get the pepperoni one. <laughs> He's been fanging for the pepperoni, so let's hope the old Scooter Fox comes through and snabs it. Yeah, well, you're, that's probably the one you want. So I think <laughs> everyone would want that. So uh, we've got one of each. It's going to be potluck. Lucky dip. Lucky dip. Who gets uh, which one? So you go first. All right, all right. Guests first. What have I got? Oh. Well, you got to... It's like a nice greasy packaging. Oh, oh yeah. Always good when you can see through the packaging. <laughs> oh, mate. How good's that look? Oh, tasty every time. I've got a feeling. You got a feeling you I've got the got ham got and cheese? Feeling, yeah. Let's pray that feeling is right. <laughs> anyway, how about we see you open yours up? Okay. Are my suspicions correct? Ooh. Ooh, double packaging. Double packaging. Let's just get it back here a bit. Ooh, it's quite a big foily, that oh, one. Yeah. They've locked it right in. Ooh, which is a bit sticky. Oh, you get three dental fillings with every purchase. <laughs> Let's get rid of that bit. <laughs> well, I mean, the, my first thing is it's a decent size. I mean, that's got to be nine inches long easy easy and uh we know our inches oh don't we <laughs> all right oh, i'm struggling here with this <laughs> oh yeah that's better right let me really just struggling with you get rid of all that How do you yeah. open this thing <laughs> rightio so well there we go that looks all right let's have a look Please at what we got be. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ripper! <laughs> but there you go, there's the guts of it. Look at that stretchy cheese there and all those bits of ham. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, it smells great. It does smell good. Ugh. It smells like a nice piece of pizza. Beautiful. Yeah, I can see the sauces in there too. Mm. Yeah, plenty of cheese. And look at your hands. Did we get any napkins? I certainly hope so. I don't think that's a negative. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, let's suss mine out then. Done. All right, well, let's suss mine out. Now that I know that I got the pepperoni, I'm pretty happy. Well, mine wasn't as stuck together like yours was. It looks like the cheese does come out the top, though. And, oh, hang on. I spoke too soon. We do have some stickage. These things are really hard to take out of the foil really don't want to get any of that foil in our mouth because you know what it's like when you're chewing some something that's got foil and you hits your fillings it feels like a lightning bolt going right through your head you've got to really be careful okay well, I don't know if this is a good sign for a good start at least okay well, that's how long it takes just to unwrap it. But here we go. Oh, oh yeah, there's a bit of salami there. Or pepperoni. Um, yeah. yeah, it looks... Well, I don't think it looks like gorgeous or like beautiful or anything. It, opening it up is probably the worst thing you, you can probably do, I think. It, it looks like it could be the pizza base. This is like really, I mean, I don't know if that's the cheese or if that's just soggy. Well, I don't know what that is. Hmm. It could be the cheese coming out the bottom or 
like a volcano of cheese coming mm. out of the top top crack. <laughs> You've definitely got more cheese than me, but I think uh, meat wise, I think I've done. Uh, Done pretty good. Yeah, there's quite a bit of ham in there. Yeah, yeah. You've so, you've done well. Mm. I've only can only see like little bits of. Uh, well, I can only see that one piece. <laughs> I'm sure there must be more. But anyway, it doesn't look that awesome. But for two dollars ninety five, mate, what a, what do you expect? Yeah. Anyway, let's go. We're just gonna rip in. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh. <coughs> Mate. I'm not sure how cooked that pastry very, gets in the middle. I was about to say, very chewy. Mm. Very doughy. Very chewy, yeah. very doughy. Yeah. Mm. Especially, I think, where it's been rolled over there. Yeah. The underside just hasn't uh, hasn't been able to be cooked properly. Yeah, it's definitely adding a, a chewing gum sort of sensation to it. It is very a chewing pizza gummy. pocket chewing gum sensation. Is that sensation a good sensation? Oh, I have to go in for another bite and yeah. find out. I love that sauce. That their pizza sauce, I think, is one of the better pizza sauces out of the mm. pizza chains. Really nice. Mm. Mm. No, pizza sauce is nice. Um, it's not really well. Mine isn't. They're very um, seasoned. Mm -hmm. Like it's. Well, I guess there's enough, but hasn't got a lot of seasoning on it. Not really salty at all. No. Um, ham's usually pretty salty. Is yours? Yeah, salty? yeah, getting a bit of that off the, off the ham. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Yeah, yeah. But I see what you mean. Like the actual, there's a lot of pastry there. A lot of uh, dough. Yeah. Is is is, is taking over it. But yeah. It's go. doing the job. Go again. I'm really struggling to taste any pepperoni on this. Mm. Well, it didn't look like there was any on there mm. at first. Well, there is. The one. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think he just put like maybe five of them down or one, something. One line. Mm. Yeah. Like one line. It doesn't look anything like it does on the promotional photo. Mm. I mean, the one there looks really nice. <laughs> mm. But. It is a decent size. I mean, they could have made it this big, mm. couldn't they? Half, yeah. Like yep. for three bucks. Mm. But I was about to say, for the price, it's, mm. yeah. You'd be, what would you expect for the price for that that, that size? Well, it, well, it's, for the price, I, I got more than what I expected. expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Flavour-wise, it's probably, it's probably about what you expect, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, um. I mean, it tastes all right. It doesn't taste like bad. Yeah, but I think you're right when you said it's just a little bit undercooked. That could be definitely left in the oven a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it was. I'm so it must be cooked in this. Yeah. So they must wrap it and cook it in that, which that's what's fused the foil onto the. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> what I'm. I can only assume that, but mm. um, yeah, it's it tastes all right. Yep. Um, I'm starting to get like that that sauce is sort of starting to really stick to the back of my throat and burn <laughs> back there, you know. <laughs> but, but no, it tastes all right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Hitting the spot, filling the hole. Plenty of holes there to fill too. Definitely. Especially with the size of this thing. Mm. And the pastry, well, the bits that are cooked mm. are pretty good. Mm. Mm. Definitely. If it was, if the pastry was crispy all over, that would be, that would take it next level. That would mm. really, really just rip it right up on the scale. But yeah. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah, the fact that half it's like nicely cooked like that, and then the other bit's a bit doughy. And 
Well, that does take away from it, but again, it must be hard to cook something all over like that. Yeah, mm. you think they just run it through the oven, but mm. uh, it is what it is. So, Scooter Fox, how about we give it a score out, out of 10? 10. Value wise, two dollars ninety five, mate. What a bargain! Yeah, I agree. I think oh. two ninety five. If you got a bit of spare change in your pocket, can't go wrong with a pizza pocket. No. Oh, nice. <laughs> you like that, Don? <laughs> Don, that's copyrighted now. <laughs> <laughs> Flavor wise, well, it probably tastes like you expect. Uh, the the pastry, uh, the pizza base is it tastes all right. It's not cooked all over though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it is a bit soggy in the middle. Uh, it's got that nice pizza sauce, oh, the pizza though, sauce in there that you great. really like. Yeah, yeah, that was yum, yeah. And mine had plenty of ham. There was plenty of ham in there, plenty of cheese. I think the only thing that really let it down for me is the undercooked base. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, as far as like the sauce goes, that was nice. Uh, the cheese in there, well, I'm guessing there was enough. It doesn't look like anything from the like the photo, but. And the amount of pepperoni that was in here. Well, for the price, what do you expect? So, for an all over flavour, all over taste, all over everything score out of 10, Scooter Fox, what would you give it? For me, I would give it a 7.623245. Yeah, so that's a that's a pretty good average score. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, that's about right. I mean, it's so cheap. Uh, but it is a little bit nasty, but it still does taste pretty good and find me a better deal uh, for a, a, something that you would eat for lunch. So I reckon I'd give it about a, a 7.62354 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so 7.6, um, yeah, they're pretty good. Yep. I quite like it. and. Yep. Um, I guess I would go back and get another one again. I'd get it again next time. Maybe you'd just say, hey, mate, can you nudge it back in the oven nudge for it a back little in, bit longer? Just, just make it a little bit more crispy. And he's oh. like, mate, do you know how much I get paid an hour? <laughs> These things are costing $2 in wages to make. We're losing money with these things. <laughs> Stick it in your own oven, oh, mate. Well, that's a good idea. You could take it home, whack it in the air fryer. Oh, or yes! in the sandwich press. Maybe. Great idea. Yeah. You learn it here first on the old Grego's Kitchen. Today featuring one of my mates here, Scooter Fox. Yeah. Thanks for coming along and uh, reviewing the um, pizza pocket from Domino's. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, beauty. And we'll probably see Scooter Fox again in some upcoming videos that we have planned. So uh, let us know down below what you think and we'll see you next time. We do a review. See you then. Cheers. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen where the reviews are